Thank you for joining us. I'm Courtney Cole with the WBZ News Update and a look at our top stories. Survivors of the deadly Apple store crash just filed a lawsuit. And the I-Team first broke this story yesterday. The lawsuit claims that there should have been protective barriers up in front of the store to prevent last week's deadly crash. The suit names Apple, the driver, and the owner of the building at the Derby Street Shops in Hingham. City officials in Lowell say it could be two days before people evacuated after a water main break will be allowed to return to their homes. Last night, the break flooded homes and cars near Moody and Cabot Streets along Father Morissette Boulevard. Residents at a large apartment complex are now staying at shelters nearby. And just days after spending the Thanksgiving holiday in Nantucket, President Biden is planning to return to Massachusetts this week. He'll be in Boston on Friday for a fundraiser. And now let's get a check of your next weather forecast with meteorologist Lexi O'Connor. Hey, Lexi. Good afternoon, Courtney. We have a calm day today. The clouds are increasing and then tomorrow we do have a next weather alert for some rain and wind on the way. So enjoy the dry day today. Tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night we are looking at some downpours and strong gusty winds. The wind sticks around for Thursday as well and we are looking at some scattered wind damage potential as well as some power outages possible because of the strong gusty winds. Some localized flooding, some ponding on the roads is also possible, uh, but it ends Wednesday late evening. The wind though is going to be sticking around. There is a wind advisory in effect for central and eastern mass uh, from 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon until 1 a.m. on Thursday. We're looking at wind gusts between 40 to 55 miles per hour. So the wind is really going to be roaring and again some scattered power outages and damage is possible. 41 degrees early this afternoon in Boston. You can see the clouds have increased. We'll continue to see increase in clouds through this afternoon. Temperatures top out in the low to mid 40s, but we stay dry today with just some light winds all ahead of a storm system that's still off to our west. High pressure is still in control for today and tonight and expect increasing clouds, but dry conditions. Tomorrow morning we start off dry. I can't rule out a brief light shower or maybe some drizzle tomorrow morning, but mostly cloudy skies. It's not until the midday and afternoon we'll start to see that rain pushing in from the west. So western mass, central mass, this is at one o'clock. You're getting into that rain and then it will continue to move east through the afternoon and into the evening where you see some yellow and orange that shows some downpours. So unfortunately, right during the evening commute time, we're looking at some downpours. There will be wind swept rain. The wind will also be increasing out of the south during this time, and then it will continue to move east by around 8, 9, 10 o'clock. We are looking at clearing conditions with that rain pushing off to the east, but the wind is going to stay active into Thursday as well. Temperatures today top out in the mid 40s. We're back into the upper 50s for tomorrow, but with the rain and wind. And then we cool back down on Thursday into the 40s and the wind stays active. So a quick look at expected wind gusts. Uh, gusts over 40 miles per hour are possible tomorrow afternoon and evening. Uh, some 50 mile per hour wind gusts are possible as well. Some gusts over 50 miles per hour possible along the south coast, Cape and the islands. And then that wind changes direction on Thursday out of the west northwest. Still some gusts over 40 miles per hour are possible. Possible. So the wind will still be active on Thursday, but we'll get a return to the sunshine. So we do have a weather alert on for tomorrow because of the wind and the rain. Calmer on Thursday in terms of we don't have the rain, but still pretty windy. And then Friday looks good if you have any outdoor plans. We're still in the 40s on Friday, and then Saturday is our next rain and wind event back up in the 50s before we cool back down and clear things out on Sunday. So kind of a roller coaster with the temperatures, Courtney. Again, the big focus is on tomorrow's rain and wind. All right. Thank you, Lexi. I'm Courtney Cole. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.